Hi, this is Jim Reed. Anyway, uh, we got our PixHawk installed in our Tally H500. Uh, it came out very well. Um, I did run into one problem with this newer uh, body is it has some extra things here and, and I don't know what they're for but the bosses that the GPS mounted on were extremely long and so when I tried to close the uh, the shell it actually uh, hit so I had to the GPS would hit the top of the Pixhawk so I had to nibble them down a little bit to, to make them fit but that's only because this newer shell is a little bit different um, this here is a sticker and there's some sort of panels I think it's for uh, mounting an external GPS which I may do in the future um, but anyway uh, we got it to clear and everything's good this is a, a makeshift uh, shield uh, I'll show you how to do it it's very easy um, you lay down some wax paper then you lay down some uh, uh, thick clear mylar tape then you put the copper shielding on top of the mylar tape and then put more mylar type tape on top of the shielding and then you cut it out with scissors release it from the wax paper done so for whatever that's worth but anyway uh, we got this done and let's go through some of the components here is our 12c connector um, this here connects our compass and, and various uh, different things if we wanted to down below this is our Bluetooth module and this is so we can uh, calibrate our compass on the field through Droid Planner uh, through our uh, Android device we got uh, Bluetooth uh, connectivity through this uh, and uh, you just build a cable I can I can show you how to do that but those, there's a lot of information on that already um, here we got our uh, OSD here you see we've uh, took all the uh, connections and we put hot glue on them that keeps them from separating and vibrating loose in flight I might put a little bit more right there because uh, that might be a problem later on anyway hot glue is your friend uh, it keeps things from vibrating uh, off anyway we got this Ooh, that doesn't look very good I may change that cord I don't like these. Some of these, some of these cords, man, you gotta worry. You gotta really worry about because they're cheap. Anyway, uh, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, probably change that cord. Anyway, um, I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna make sure everything's work. I'm gonna connect it to my Bluetooth and my Android device. Uh, I've got everything programmed pretty much to uh, the way I want it, um, and uh, wrapped it all up and uh, we'll have a video of, of it together anyway I'm very pleased it, it came out very nicely um, we got our anti-vibration dampening tape and this is our beat you see everything's nice and neat um, we added a lot of components that it didn't have before there's, there's our little BEC got a sticky tape there and uh, it's a it's a uh, it came out very nice. It's very clean um, There's our happy and tone buzzer um, it Gives us a little happy tone and sad tone uh, to let us know that that's not going to work or it is going to work anyway uh, let's uh, wrap this thing up and um, I'm sorry. I lost a lot of the assembly footage, but probably didn't really need that anyway It's probably just be boring. This is probably what you really need to see this configuration now you're going to have to put the cover on and take it off and put it on and put it off
can go ahead and arm the bird. See it arms fine. Go ahead and So that's all good. Our cameras works great. Um, everything's working. Our uh, landing gear is awesome. Check out this. La our landing gear is working awesome. Uh, I don't know if I can do this with the. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see. It'll go, it'll go like this. I'll show you how how great the landing gear is working. Watch this. It always before it was just kind of laggy and now it's just really solid and responsive. Everything is great. Our LEDs, dev lights are nice and bright. Of course we lost our little purple light but we gained this light here. And let me show you what this light does. Uh, let me turn my receiver off. Turn the battery off. And I'm going to turn the It initializes. Now it's calibrating the gyros. It's checked the motors. It's got a GPS lock and is ready to arm. Do the auto tune sequencing. Once we get the auto tune done, then we're ready, man. But this thing looks awesome. Um, this is it. Telemetry is badass. We got so much more information than we did before. Man, this is just. Look how crystal clear it is. Oh, and by the way, you remember that uh, when we when we set up the uh, I look that I put the ground wire just in case we needed it. We needed it. Uh, I didn't have the ground wire hooked up, and things were flickering back and forth. But as soon as I uh, hooked up that ground wire, it became solid. So you do need the uh, ground wire. Okay. Well, thank you. And uh, next will be uh, auto tune. Our next will be flying and auto-tune. Okay.